Hi guys, it's Carl from Buzz Website Design and Marketing again, and welcome to another snippet of marketing help for you and your business. And today's short session is all about measurement. Um, something that happens a lot in businesses of all shapes and sizes is that they often neglect to measure the results of their marketing. And to some extent, in fact to a large extent, there is no excuse for knowing or not knowing whether your marketing is effective at all. Now I don't know if you've ever heard of a guy called Peter Drucker, he's a management consultant, business guru, uh, academic, writer, and he came up with the phrase that something along the lines of what gets measured can be managed or something along those. Now the point of the point of that phrase is that if you measure everything and know how well it's working, you can manage it more effectively. If it's not doing so well, you can perhaps improve, you can adapt, you can uh, try and work on making it better, or you could just scrap it and do something else. If it's doing particularly well, then you can work out what it is that's making it so, and perhaps even improve on it even further. Now the point of this with your marketing is that in today's technological age you should never ever know whether any of your marketing is being particularly effective, providing a profitable return on investment. All marketing should provide a return on investment, whether that's investment in time, an investment in money, or an investment of the combination of the two. But you should always be working out where it is your customers come from. So I want to give you a few examples of how we do this, and hopefully if you're not doing it already, you'll be able to work it out within your business and your work. You see, one of the key questions we ask anybody who comes to us to talk to us about any of the work we do, and especially for websites, is we always say, how did you get to find out about us? Now, many people say, well, I just searched for you on Google, which is brilliant, great to be found in the search engines, but then I always follow that with, well, can you remember what search terms you used? Um, you know, do you remember what you put into Google to find us? Because that will give us some idea about what search terms are actually working for us and what aren't. And we can measure that anyway, but it doesn't necessarily mean that just because we're on the first page of Google um, that, uh, that people are going to respond to that. It could well be that there's a page in our website which we haven't paid that much attention to that are people coming into and they're responding. So we always ask, how did you find out about us? And if you say Google or search engines, I always put how, uh, what kind of search terms did you use and can you remember? No one gets away without being asked this question. Even if they don't end up buying from us, um, they, we always ask this question. Another one is that we have on our project management sheet for all of our clients who we build websites for, we always have a marketing source. So we know which of our marketing sources is working. Now, in social media terms, LinkedIn is a big deal for us. We get quite a few inquiries because we're quite active on LinkedIn. We put out good stuff on there. We connect with people. We interact with people. When we connect with somebody for the first time, we always send them a message uh, prompting them to give us a call if they have any questions or want some help. Uh, and the key is that we know that LinkedIn works because we track where people come from. We always ask, and we and typically, typically with social media, you know if they come through that channel. So, again, it's that making sure that we know where people come from. Networking is another big uh, deal for us. We get a lot of clients through networking. That's going to events, going to networking groups, etc., collecting cards, getting in touch with people, meeting up with people. It really does work. And we know that because we measure the response. So, uh, and also think about the wider social media. Facebook isn't so hot for us, although I'm sure if we spend some time and effort, we might get something out of it. Twitter, we're not sure about whether that's uh, successful for us or not. It's an indirect marketing method rather than direct pitch marketing. It's great for awareness. It's great for driving people to the website. But ultimately, when people come to the website, if they make an inquiry, we, find, we always ask them, how did you find out about us? And to be honest, we've not had anybody say, well, I saw you on Twitter. I read your blog post and gave you a call. That's never happened. But, you know, you never know. So the other king thing that works well for us is email marketing. We know that if we send out certain emails, people respond, respond and we can track that follow-up and we can nurture that relationship. So again, all, a lot of our clients on, e on email come from our networking activity, so it's an indirect method. But we always know where customers come from. Now, why do we say this? Why do we do this? Well, the reason is simple. Because if there's something that's working, we want to do it better. We want to do more of it if we can. If there's something that's not working but it's taking up a disproportionate amount of time and money, we want to improve it 
or simply scrap it. If it isn't working, why bother keeping up with it? You've either got to change it, adapt it to improve it, or get rid of it and move on to something else. So, hope that's been of use to you. Uh, if you're working in your own business and you're wondering where all your clients keep coming from and you're wondering which of your mar what of your marketing is particularly effective, you now have no excuse. Even on your website, you can have a phone number which track which is just dedicated to that website. You can get virtual numbers and you'll know that calls coming to that website through that website rather are for a from that route. You can have a separate number on your business card. If you put out ads for example you could have a separate number on those ads so you know that those ads are doing a particular job and that people are responding by calling that number because that number is only on that ad. Virtual numbers are dirt cheap now. We pay four pounds a month for each of ours. It's nothing uh, plus the cost of a little calls. So it enables us to monitor what we're doing it enables to monitor and us, us to monitor campaigns, etc. So you've no excuse. You've no excuse for not knowing where your customers. At the very least, ask them. Where did you find out about us? If you don't already know them, what made? You, what was it that made you give us a call? Which channel did you come through? You know, if you visited our website, did you find us on Google? What search terms did you use? You know, if we met at a networking event, what was it about uh, our approach that? Uh, meant that you wanted to talk to us about what we do and all these sorts of questions because it enables you to improve if you can manage it if you can measure it you can manage it if you can manage it you can improve it right so good stuff go out there and do it thanks for watching and bye for now